about Battle Truth. Battle Truth been on my channel a few times. He's a, a Bible thumping believer. He says mm -hmm. he believes in the Bible. And um, Battle Truth have used the Bible as a crutch mm -hmm. to condone his actions. What we were talking about, I forgot exactly where we left off. But, um, yeah, oh yeah, like I was saying, when it says that Israel shall be saved in 45 and 17, what do you get out of that? Man, you don't, man, Israel ain't the only one gonna be saved, brother. No, but you gotta understand the concept of salvation. If salvation is not... Salvation is eternal they life. They taught us that salvation is, is actually like dying and going to heaven and then being happy and living for as eternal beings forever but that's not what they were promising first what happens first is the children of israel got to get to their land they have to be saved out of the land of their captivity they were they were shipped into the four quarters of the earth according to the scriptures for breaking the laws as part of their curses in 1948 it was to actually uh, perpetuate that prophecy so they can come up with the uh and support the rapture doctrine because now, supposedly, the children of Israel is supposed to be in their land now. That's what puts us to the phase to where everybody's waiting for a rapture or they're waiting for the coming of the Messiah. But we're not even at that phase yet. We're still at the phase before that, which is the children of Israel got to get placed back in their land. And that's us. We need to be saved first. We need to be a world without end, or what it means by that, a, a dominion, an empire, a kingdom without end. So love the world. Who did God love? The world. What is the definition of the word world written in the original text, which was the Greek language? Cosmos mean everybody, the universe. God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall ever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world would be saved through him. I'm his first baby's mother. I'm his two oldest son's mother. Talk to us about the new case that that the new up uh, the new case that's going on right now with him and his daughter or his stepdaughter, whoever it is. Talk to us about that. Um, I have to say his daughter. One because oh. um this young lady grew up with, like I said, my two sons and all of us. She's been around all her life. There hasn't been a break in us being around her or knowing who she was. He's never made assumptions that Jerika mm. wasn't his child. Up until recently when this stuff came out about him and her having intercourse and her being four months pregnant by him. He's never showing it. So if um, if you're innocent, then I would say show the blood test. And even if he do though, sis, like how does that take him off the hook? You raised this child as if it was your own. You changed her diaper. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? That Definitely. makes That makes people really think like, Dude, what was you really doing up until that age when she was a baby? Um, since you have been with him, have you seen him um, gravitating towards young girls like yourself? Because you was at the age of 15. Well, he used to rap. So initially meeting him, we met him, me and my friend as singers. And he slept with the both of us. So wow. it's, it's kind of like a pa it is a pattern with him. Anybody that he has. Even Jerika's mother was like 13 or 14, and he was like maybe 29, 30 something when he slept with Jerika, mom. I want to give all the praises and uh, honor to Yahweh. Also, a sincere shalom to <laughs> other elders, <laughs> your brethren. Ain't too battle, true yeah. daughters. Sisters, a few of yeah. your sisters, you promise yeah. yeah. families. Let me say shalom to the elect. Want to go into the video yes. I came across <laughs> in light of what happened with uh, Brother White. Yes. Um, I forgot his name, Noick. Something Noick. Um, this guy here, yes. his name is um, uh, Battle Truth. And uh, Battle <laughs> Truth is allegedly impregnated uh, <laughs> his daughter. Okay? Now, this is a Bible-thumping 
battle rapper and all this or that. I wonder what uh, Vocab Malone has to say um, <clears throat> about this. I wonder if this would be considered dangerous to Christianity. I don't know. But I would like to hear Vocab Malone's take on a fellow rapper or a battler or whatever you want to call him. I, I don't know this guy. Um, on this, on on this, and I, I wouldn't have went into it except the fact that he um, he really comes against the Hebrew Israelites and our doctrine. And I'll get into that too with the John three sixteen, just to you know clarify that um, to go into that. But you know, just to show you that these guys are, are hypocrites. Now, as far as the age is concerned, in the ancient times. When a woman became a woman, when she was groomed to be a woman, by the way, you can't hold that accountable now because the society, the way is is set up, the laws, and the uh, young women at uh, 13, 14 years old are not groomed that way. Their spirit is of that way. You know that's why um, these little girls want dolls um, at the age of five because that was all part of the grooming process. For them to have children. So their bodies at the age of 13, 12, 13, 14, 15 on up to a certain age is ready for marriage. Okay? Is ready to get together. But according to this ideology of this guy who ha has all his hatred or let's say disagreements toward the Hebrew Israelites, you see what they do. Notice is these guys that have an issue with what we say in the Bible are the main ones that carry out those kind of actions and he had to been messing with this young lady uh, when she got impregnated who knows if she had abortions in the past she was of age when she got impregnated but you have to ask yourself this couldn't have been the first time she just got pregnant how many years was this man doing this until he finally got caught out there and according to the scriptures Let's go to the Bible. He always talks about the Bible. He knows the Bible, right? We can't justify it, though, in this situation, just like Brother Polite couldn't. Leviticus 18 and 17. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter. Neither shalt thou take her son's daughter, right? Or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness. For they are her near kinswoman for they are her near kinswoman it is wickedness so I don't know Sinetta said he tries to use the Bible to, to justify it I don't know how that you can now naturally in a society first of all you got to agree with that adversary you in a society <clears throat> well me personally I wouldn't want to mess with a 13 to 14 year old According to the law of the Bible, in that ancient times, you could do that. That's when a 14-year-old woman would be groomed to be a woman and would have the mentality or the mindset of a woman. A 13-year-old today, well, they have the mindset of sex, so to speak. They're looking at Nicki Minaj and they're, they're young-minded. This is why the marriages was arranged in a lot of cases, because the woman development, the uh, develop mentality developmental abilities would occur over time as she was meant to grow with her partner her husband she would grow with them that's how it's supposed to be you're supposed to grow together and if you start at young she would be attached to this husband but we can see how it is so anyway I just want to go in the second part of the video just to address the John 316 <clears throat> okay uh, says John 3 16 let's go up to John 14 3 and 14 and, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so even so must the son of man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have ever have eternal life for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life now when you go to Acts 2 and 21 it said, whosoever should call on the Lord, name of the Lord, shall be, shall be saved. And it goes on to say, ye men of Israel, hear these words. It goes on to say, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world 
through him might be saved. Now we got to go into this word world because the word world have many different definitions. Homophones, homographs, something like that. Like the word tie, you tie your shoe. Uh, tie, you run a race. Tie, you have a necktie. We'll get into that too. Okay, so when you go in this word world, in John 3.16, he brought it out. It says cosmos, right? And let's see what cosmos say. Um, for God so loved the world okay Cosmos G2889 now when you look at G2889 it says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 why so many different definitions for one word because one of those definitions will apply to that topic right it says in a part, uh, an appoint and harmonious arrangement or constitution of order, government. So when he says God so loved the world, he's talking about a particular order. This is why when Isaiah 45 and 17 says um, Israel shall be saved in a world without end, you can go to Hebrews 1 and 1. And that goes into um, he created the worlds with an S. So this world, world had many different defini definitions. It says ornament, deco decoration, adornment, arrangement of the stars, heavenly host, ornament of the heavens, the world, the universe, the circle of the earth. So why didn't it just say the circle of the earth or everybody? Here it goes. It says the inhabitants of, the, of earth, men, and human family. So that word world can mean that. This is the uh, ignorance or let me say confusion of the, the um, English language. Goes on to say the ungodly multitude, the whole mass of men alienated from God, and they're therefore hostile to uh, uh, to the cause of Yahushua. So you had Israelites who became Gentiles, right? Um, it says any. It's a whole bunch of definition, but I'm gonna get to the last one. The Gentiles as con uh, contrasted to the Jews, right? That's what it says. The Gentiles as contrasted to the Jews. Romans 11 and 12. Okay. Now when you go to John 17 and 9. It says I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So wait a minute. This is confusing because now you're saying one minute. It means all men. And in the next minute. It means he don't mean nobody. If you're saying that. This is why there's a separation in the word world. Because in one text it's talking about a part, portion of the world, and the other text is talking about a non-portion of the world. So you're talking about the Israelites, right? And then it's it's a separate um, situation. That's why I say I love the world, but then I hate the world. Does that make sense? Anyway, we go to Romans 11 and 12, and it says, "Let me go to 11." I say then have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather through their fall salvation has come unto the Gentiles. Right? Because you had Israelites saying that other Israelites couldn't be saved. Right? You had some that didn't want to save other Israelites. They didn't even want to go to the uh, heathens. Because that's all Gentile really means. Foreigners, heathens, non-believers. Right, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? So, just wanted to go and show you that there's many different ways to prove against this. Uh, Acts three and one says, um, um, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth that shall what, that therefore I shall punish you." You know, so. You can always go in the scripture and try to justify your doctrine, but you know we will prevail because we go into the depthness of it. Okay, so this guy is just proving another hypocrite. Um, you know, they're, they're, this all fake. And this, you know, sisters, those women that watch these guys, these are the kind of guys that um, they, these guys that speak a good game about loving the wives and protecting wives. And come against us for the doctrines that we teach. They are the ones. 
They want it all for themselves. They want all the goodly young pleasures, man. They want to, they're purposely trying to get, uh, um, to throw the shots at everybody else and the Bible when secretly they're fulfilling their own lust, man, their own agendas. Anyway, that's all I have on that, Shalom.